So I know you're asking me this strategically. I have a degree in relationships. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to put it out there. I'm not dating any of them. So no, I can't mention that. I can't. I can't. No, he's not. <laughs> hi guys it's tori welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new thank you so much for clicking to watch this video don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment down below so in today's video i am going to be answering some questions this video idea was suggested by my little sister who is going to be in the background asking me questions you guys are not going to see her in the video because she's camera shy but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video make sure you like subscribe and leave a comment down below and without further ado let's Get right into this video use three words to describe yourself okay friendly loving and hardworking. so you're not cute i mean i am cute but like <laughs> who is your hero my dad is my hero what was your longest relationship and who it was with you know mommy watches this right and then she watches it like on loudspeaker literally <laughs> okay but i'll say it my longest relationship was actually my only relationship and i'm not going to mention the person's name but it lasted four years <laughs> literally i have a degree in relationships <laughs> i literally have a degree in relationships guys um so yeah what's been your most embarrassing moment where exactly anywhere, <laughs> anywhere. Okay, so I why in that was really i don't really do embarrassing things in public because i'm very no because i'm actually very very reserved so i don't really do i don't think i do do embarrassing things but okay. yeah mm -hmm. what really makes you angry just self-centered people in general i just i can't what's the most annoying question people ask you whether i'm dating one of my friends from campus it's like really really annoying like and trust i've been getting this since like first semester to date all the time everywhere anywhere people always ask me or my friends whether we're dating and i just want to put it out there i'm not dating any of them so what motivates you to continue doing youtube <laughs> um i feel like what motivates me to keep doing youtube is just the passion to edit which was the main reason why i started youtube in the first place i just genuinely fell in love with editing color correction it's more of a hobby and that's the driving force behind doing youtube okay. name one thing you really regret <sighs> to not putting myself first i think allowing people to just devalue my standards in the sense of not getting what i deserved and knowing that it's not what i deserve but allowing it to happen i think that's like one of my biggest regrets and it does happen so many times still where i compromise my standards for certain people and then they don't treat me accordingly but i feel like with time i'm like literally just learning to not let that happen more um yeah compromising my standards for people i think that's that's always my biggest regret so yeah name something you currently worry about my results guys the exams were hard so i'm worried i'm not like too worried but like i just want to clear okay i just want to clear that's literally it. i don't clear in good second semester second year and just be happy <laughs> you had a time machine would you go back in time or visit the future and why i would go into the future so that i'm able to see the plans that certain people have for me and where certain things are going to go and how far they would go and if they don't go as far as i hoped they would go then i'll just cut them off just cut them off so yeah what's your biggest fear my biggest fear is to love and not be loved back that's literally my biggest fear Ooh. what would you change about yourself if you could i think just how much emotions i feel like 
it's something that people don't really know but i'm a very very emotional person and yeah i wish i could change that about myself because then i would i think i'd be a stronger person if i could just manipulate the way i feel things and just how quick i feel things so yeah what's your favorite reality show flea market flip <laughs> actually yeah i'd actually watch flea market flip it's nice Okay. Very create creative. Who is your favorite sister? I actually don't have a favorite sister. I know you're asking me this strategically, but I don't have a favorite sister. I do change between you two because I do change for the viewers. I do change between my elder sister, my immediate older sister, and my only young sister. Um, but it just depends on the mood. It depends on who treats me nicely for the day what's your proudest accomplishment my proudest accomplishment oh i don't think i have any i don't know I don't, I don't consider myself as somebody who's achieved already i don't think i have one who was your high school crush i can't mention my high school crush like i literally can't and i would never for the record, he's not even my crush anymore, okay? So, yeah, my high school crush. No, I can't mention that. I is can't, I can't. No, he's not. <laughs> no, he's not, but like, I just, I can't, I can't. I can't. If you could live anywhere else, where would it be? I'd live in Thailand. Yeah, I'd actually live in Thailand. The culture, the food, like, I'd be happy. I'd be happy there, okay? I'd be just happy like the culture i'd i'd be excited keep when it going having a bad day what do you do to make yourself feel better um usually i just sleep it out and hope that when i wake up i feel so much better and it works sometimes but some days it's too bad to a point that i can't sleep and i'll maybe read something and pray about it so yeah Hmm. What's your favorite book to read? My favorite book was actually a book suggested to me by my friend, um, Educated. I think it was just the most amazing book ever. Can I say another one? Born a Crime, Trevor Noah. I think those are like my everyday go to books. Hmm. Yeah. Last but not least. Mm hmm. What's your favorite book of the Bible? Genesis! <laughs> I love the book of Genesis. I'm not even gonna lie. I think that's my favorite book. I mean, it's the book of creation. When you're lost, you don't know what to do. Go there, you find your purpose, okay? So, yeah. Oh, so, that was it. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> Okay so, okay, so that was it for this q and A. I I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. You can ask.